Hey dude, so I'm just doing a quick video for you of this 2006 Smart Car Diesel. This way you get a better understanding of the condition and the options of it. Also, you can see the size of it, uh, see if it'll work for you too. So, in any case, here it is. Just trying to get it all in one shot there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool looking car. Uh, one of the other neat things about it too is it's actually really good in the snow. Uh, part of the reason is because the wheels are actually staggered. It's kind of hard to see in the video here, but the back wheels actually stick out a bit further than the front wheels do. So it gives a bit more stability going around turns and everything. Um, it also tracks through the snow pretty well because of it. Also, the, the engine is rear mounted, so it sits right above the axle on the back here. So all the weight's going down, gives you a lot more traction in the snow. Not that you have to worry about it too much, um, being in Vancouver, of course, but. So yeah, you can see there's no big scratches or dents or anything. The car's in great shape. Um, it's never been in a collision either. Just doing a quick little walk around here. But. So now I know uh, size is concerned. Make sure your stuff can work in the back. So yeah, we'll just pop it open here. You can take a look. So that folds right down. You can get the trunk and then... Sorry, I just used both hands for that. But anyways, the back pops right open there. And you can kind of see the, the space. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video here, but there's a fair amount of space. Also, I put that seat down too. You can see that seat folds totally flat as well. So if you need to put stuff on there, you can fill it up. So there is actually a fair amount of room in this thing, even though it's a very compact car. So it's kind of neat. Now here, I'll just put the, pull the back down, put this back up. So as you can see too, it's also convertible, which is kind of neat too. So actually when you're in the car, or even when you're outside the car, you can actually put the top down. So all you do is you press this button on the key fob here, and it brings the top. Opens it right up. So then you can just leave it like this, so you're just driving for a short drive. Or if you want to, you can pull it all the way down by pressing the button again. Pops it right down. So it really opens up the top, but actually it makes it really neat when you're sitting inside too. Really opens it up, you get a really good view of the sky, pretty much, yeah, just uh, gives you a different perspective. So here I'll open up the door, okay, show you the inside of how it looks, and then the roof too, totally open, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty neat. These bars actually here come right out too, so you can open this right up if you want to, and they actually fit right in the uh, back door there too. So. Now, as I mentioned, there's a gear shifter there, so you can put it on this button here. Actually, dictates the automatic. Just press it in. You can go through the gears manually if you want to by tapping it up and down. It's got the upgraded audio system in it as well, air conditioning, tachometer. So, yeah, it's got power windows as well, power locks, power mirrors. So it's nicely equipped. And of course, the best thing obviously is the fuel consumption. Like this thing gets ridiculous fuel consumption. All right. Well, anyways, gives you a bit of a view of the car, and uh, yeah, I'll fire this off to you now.